Hello, Growing Roots 1 students. I'm so glad you showed up today. Let's practice. Let's get our violins out. One, two, three. And we'll start with our shoulder, fingers on our shoulder. Make sure that your mountaintop fingers are flat on top. And we're gonna do finger number taps. So finger number one, if you can pick it up, put it down and do Mississippi, stop, stop. Now, if that's difficult to do, Use all the fingers. Mississippi, stop, stop. That's good. All right, listen for that drum sound. We're gonna try finger number two. If you can't do it yourself, have someone help you, or you can do it like this. Mississippi, stop, stop. And see if you can get your finger to do B, stop, stop. The ring finger, finger number three, is the most difficult finger. So you may need to help your third finger, uh, finger number three. Mississippi, stop, stop. Another thing we talked about in class was our strings, our rainbows, and we're going to talk about the string names. So the violin is, this is mainly for caregivers, but students, you can listen and learn too. So the, the strings are tuned in fifths, intervals of fifths. So the lowest string is G. So if we go G, A, B, C, D, the next string up is D. And so then if we go D, E, F, G, A, the next string is A, and then from A, A, B, C, D, E. So those are the strings in fifth. So we're gonna start with our mountaintop fingers, our bow on the E string, and we're gonna rock to each string. E string, rock to A, a string, rock to D, do a silent rainbow to D, and then from D, rock all the way to G. Now, if you notice, my arm is just about parallel, oops, parallel to the ground. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to D. It's a little bit lower, and then A, and then E. Now let's rock to a string quickly when I call it out. D, A, E. Did your arm come back low, nice and low? G. D. A. G. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is playing rockabilly blues. Now this can be challenging if you're not sure when to come in. So I wanted to talk about walking at a slow tempo so slow tempo would be walking slowly, not in a hurry. Medium tempo would be like you're trying to go somewhere quickly. And then of course there's running. So tempo is like our walking and walking slowly, walking uh, moderately and walking fast speeds. Rockabilly blues. So what I'd like you to do is play Mississippi stop stop. And in between you're gonna do different things four times to find the tempo. Feel the beat with your knees moving up and down. on the bus and I'm going to show you some common mistakes. So you want to start out with a really good bow hold. Remember the children, their feet are over the dock into the water. There's a shark underneath. Big sister is resting and reading a book and her feet, her feet are in the water but she's not fishing and then the baby's in the pool ring. All right so we're going to start with wheels on the bus. 
The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. So you want to make sure, here's a common mistake I see. A common mistake is the pinky is hanging over the edge of the, uh, the, the stick or the screw. So you want to make sure you pick up that pinky and you move it up so the pinky, that little baby is in the pool ring on top of the uh, the dock. So we'll do the, uh, let's see, the, the people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down all through the town. Here's another mistake I see, of course, it's the unbent thumb. It's not bent. So you wanna make sure it stays bent. Remember to make a magic circle requires a bent thumb. So you wanna make sure you have that magic circle in your bow hold. Make sure the thumb is bent, the shark fin. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. Here's another mistake I see in bow holds. And that would be that the first finger is too close to the second finger. So we're gonna move it up so there's a little bit of space there. The windows on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The windows on the bus go open and shut all through the town. And the last one that I see sometimes is the middle fingers are up too high. They're on the dock, their feet are not in the water. So you wanna make sure those feet are up on top, not on top of the dock, but over the frog. So this is the story of the sailors on the bow ship. Captain Thumb, so this is gonna be different than the children fishing. Captain Thumb is sitting in his chair on the bow ship. Sailor number two is having a meeting with Captain Thumb. Sailor number one is resting on his side Sailor number four is keeping watch over the ship. And sailor number three, well, he's looking out that window called the porthole. So he should be covering the eye of the frog. So that's kind of a fun way. Now we have a bow ship and we have to keep it up on an even keel. So let's bring the bow ship over. Uh-oh, it's going to tip over. So all the sailors have to work and bring that bow ship up to an even keel. Uh-oh, now it's tipping over the other way. What are we gonna do? Sailor number one is gonna work really hard to bring the bow ship up. Let's do it again, over this way. Sailor number four is gonna to have to help the most to bring the bow ship up to an even keel. And when you go this way, all the work is on sailor number one and the other sailors are helping too. Captain Thumb just stays in his place. Well, that's a really good bow game to do, even keel. Sometimes we call this windshield wiper.